What's happening, Hot Wheelers? Got some mailbox finds today. Uh, no particular uh, order to this. Just got them all today, so I thought I'd just show them to you. Got some Matchbox, and then I've got a couple of vintage racing pieces, one of which is one of my crown jewels of vintage racing, and I'm saving it to open with you. So I hope that makes you feel special. In the meantime, let me show you the Matchbox I got. Now, I am really loving the Lesney Edition pieces. I've seen a few out there and around and these are awesome. I like these kinda like the Super Fast and I guess the 60th anniversary was trying to be kinda like this but the Lesney Edition pieces here they're awesome. They're metal base, metal body, they've got excellent wheels. Look at those wheels. This is a um, 63 Cadillac Ambulance. There you go. And they come with the you know the sort of vintage matchbox box there. But uh, this one's awesome. This is a uh, Mexico City Ambulance Service. And I love the orange on it. Uh, just a sweet looking car, especially with that metal base on it. Now, I'm not going to crack this right now uh, just because it looks cool. Packaging is awesome. And I want to collect a few more of these. So I'm um, leaving that one in the package for now. But I've got two others that came with it in the lot, two other Cadillac ambulances that came in the lot. Here is a emergency response 63 Cadillac ambulance. This is a 55 of 100 uh, that came in the 2009. So there's that. And then I also have this one, which was a 63 Cadillac ambulance 11 of 120, the Surf Dock Beach Patrol version. Kind of cool, kind of funky. Uh, this was 2011, so this one's a little newer. And just so you know, if you are a seller on eBay or if you do trades or whatever, this guy who sent me the three of these used a box like this. Look at that. Notice anything wrong with that? It's paper thin. Look at this. Now he put it in another paper thin inside and then stuffed it with newspaper. Uh, I understand if it's your first time doing such a thing, you may not know any better. But you know what happens when you put them in a box like this? It gets smashed. Even if you put padding in there, here's what happens. You get a bad looking blister. Check this out. See that right there? See that crunch on the blister right there? That is because there's pressure on here and it's cracking up the blisters. Here are the other two. So just to uh, send out a fair game warning, don't if you're gonna do it, just you know, at least put hard car cardboard around the pieces, but put it in a box. Come on, man, that's the least you can do. These kinds of things, it ain't gonna work. If you're traveling all the way from, you know, New Jersey or Virginia to Oklahoma or Georgia or whatever, that's that's a long way for that thing to go. Anyway, that's my rant. But don't mess, don't mess that stuff up. You know what? We're gonna crack these just because, and uh, see what this. Out. So here is the uh, ambulance, up close and personal. You know, when the blister's messed up, there's no point in keeping it in the blister anymore, for the most part. Pretty cool, huh? Plastic base on these, so that's definitely not as cool as uh, definitely not as cool as the Lesney, but still the wheels. Look at the wheels on this thing. Very cool. Love it. I like it. Surf Dock Beach Patrol, Green Windows, that's funky. So anyway, those are the two um, Cadillacs along with the Lesney edition right there that uh, I got from Matchbox and I'm liking it, liking it a lot. Now I also picked up this uh, Vintage Racing, so let's, uh, let's talk about Vintage Racing for a minute. You know I'm kind of a Vintage Racing freak. This is uh, Dan Gurney's 68 Mercury Cougar. No big whoop, you can find this pretty easily so we're cracking this one. And this one, oops, is going to go in the display case with my other vintage racing machines. Very cool. Love the Goodyear blacked out tires on this. And the Cougar is another pretty cool car. Nice painted tail lights and the metal base here. I'll just show you quickly. There you go. Uh, still pretty easy to find this one out there. So uh, that will be going in the display case. Now, this is the one. This is the one. Now everybody has um, 
gone jonesing for this piece. When you see it on eBay or on collectors, whatever, it's uh, expensive. I probably pay too much for it. But it's just one of those cars that, you know, didn't get sent to the stores as much because it was one of the last assortments. And as little as a year ago, I probably could have gotten this car for six, seven dollars. And of course, I didn't start collecting really hardcore until, not hardcore, but you know, just seriously collecting stuff <sighs> until the beginning of this year. So, of course, when you're chasing this stuff down, you see stuff you really like and you want. And I waited a long time and I just can't wait anymore. So, I found this car and uh, saw my opportunity, so I jumped at it. Okay. And uh, so we're going to open it here. Now, there's good news and bad news. The good news... Well, the bad news first. The bad news is that I bought it loose, so I don't have the card. And I'll tell you why that's important. The, uh, the good news is, is that I don't have to feel guilty about cracking it. All right, have you guessed what this is yet? Remember, it's vintage racing. It's hard to find. People are jonesing all over it right now. No, it's not a Torino. Here it comes. Uh, this is an awesome car. And, you know, there's just nothing else like it. Oh, boy. There it is. See it? This is the John Morton... BRE Dotson from the Vintage Racing Series. Now, the reason I talked about the card is because this is actually number 15 of 30, and the card says, I believe the card says it's number 22 of 30, so the cards are errors. And that's another reason why everybody joneses over this piece, because not only is it an awesome little Dotson, uh, but it is an error card. But I didn't want to pay the amount just to collect the card with it, so I found this loose, and like I said, the good thing about that is I avoid the guilt from cracking a car that is hard to find and valuable. It's already loose, so I picked it up, and here it is. Look at this thing. So, um, this is just awesome. If you look at the real thing, you know, that's what makes these vintage racing cars so awesome is they're based on the real thing. And uh, you've got your awesome tampos here, and this just looks fantastic. The BRE Dotson, the number 46, the red, white, and blue paint scheme. Got red on top here. Got your uh, hood hooks there. Got Morton here on the top. Um, there are painted taillights, but look at the taillight. Looks a little bit off. That tampo got hit a little high on this. So that's kind of an interesting little error there. Uh, pretty much the same on the other side, but like I've talked about before, I love these Goodyear racing tires. That's another thing that, you know, sells me every time. So another reason why I was going nuts for this thing. And let's take a look at the base. All metal base, Dotson Bluebird 510, 2008. Uh, super awesome. Interior's got a black roll cage, some black, all black. So um, there you are. That is the Dotson Bree 510 from John, uh, the John Morton car. And is one of the harder ones to find in the vintage racing series. Uh, and I'm ecstatic to be adding it to my collection. So there you go. Anyway, uh, those are the mailbox finds for today. Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.